Tonight, we were able to take you behind the scenes to see and hear preparation for upcoming shows later this week in Sioux Falls. In tonight's Ion Kelvin, we show you how Fine Arts for Friedrich's Ataxia is getting ready for a show that showcases the humanity of the person at its heart. More than words can say. Raina Brentro is a 20-year-old Sioux Falls resident who will be a junior at Augustana University this fall. She studies English and classics at Augie, and she knows what she wants to do someday. I want to be a teacher. I am a lifelong learner. She's just the most optimistic and pleasant person you will ever meet. She is the most capable person I've ever met. She's so kind. <laughs> Blake Anderson, a student at Tufts University in Massachusetts and longtime friend of Brentro, is director of the upcoming Fine Arts for Friedrich's Ataxia show. It's wonderful and stressful and brilliant all at the same time. Augustana University student Tatiana Chance is one of the masters of ceremonies, but not the only one. We're going to have Broadway songs and MCs. I'm an MC. Very excited about that. And then at the end, I give a speech just kind of about F.A. and like what I go through and everything. Okay. And we'll have a silent auction at intermission. I think what's really amazing about just the youth aspect of it, how we're all students putting this on. Brentro was diagnosed in 2013 with Friedrich's ataxia, or F.A. She uses a wheelchair because of this rare disease that harms the nervous system. 2016 saw the birth of Fine Arts for Friedrich's Ataxia, or FA for FA for short. It was started actually in 2016 by a couple of friends of mine who um, prepared the first FA for FA show as kind of a surprise for me, and we've just continued it uh, every year since. And. I took over a couple of years ago. Fine Arts for Friedrich's Ataxia raises money for the Friedrich's Ataxia Research Alliance. Brentro says the annual goal is $10,000. The show means a lot to me because my friends and I are just like trying to give a new narrative of FA beyond, I guess, kind of what you would just see at first glance. I'm not just a person in a wheelchair with a chronic illness. I'm more than that. I'm a performer and um, I still smile and laugh and am having a great time living. So, Raina Brentro is one of my best friends and just being able to raise money for a good reason to find a cure for Friedrich's ataxia um, and just raise awareness as well. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I was just going through. It's your warning. It's your warning. Oh. I need you to Anderson has lofty praise. And I've done theater for over 10 years now, and some of these kids, the way that they're performing and singing, it beats some of the professionals that I've seen in my many years of All right. being a theater goer. The disease that has impacted Brentro does not summarize her. Well, I don't uh, just want to be thought of as someone in a wheelchair because I have this whole life separate from my disease. and. My disease was just kind of added to my life. So here she is, and here they all are, preparing to put on a show. I have so much to me and so much of a personality and so many things that I'm passionate about that just aren't even F.A. And so I think that F.A. for F.A. was a really good way to just to kind of bring together uh, things that I am passionate about, like musical theater and performing, with um, just the disease being the underlying, I guess, cause for like why we're singing and why we're performing. The show will have two performances, one at 2 in the afternoon and another at 7 o'clock at night, both this coming Saturday at O'Gorman High School in Sioux Falls. Check out this story on our website for a link where you can buy tickets.